Welcome to day 343 of the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Shan Hornell from here. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorite tools called a flip book. Now, flip books, we usually think of them as those little books that we would flip as kids that had cartoons in it. As they flip through the pages, you would see the cartoon and, and the pages and the action happen in the book. Well, we're going to learn how to, and today our action item is going to be to create your own flip book. Why? Why would you want to do that? Well, for a lot of reasons. I actually, following my sudden cardiac arrest in 2010, created several of these flip books in a lot of different formats and ended up writing my own book. It's actually available on Amazon. I don't share it very often because I think it's almost something that you want to uh, walk through with someone. Maybe I'll do next year's challenge based on it. I haven't ever done that, but I think it might be time to open up, you know, some of my vulnerabilities and share those. Flip books are just like, remember note cards when we studied off note cards in school to learn and memorize things? Same kind of thing. But instead of memorizing, you know, facts and figures or biology or body parts or names of things in different languages or conjugating verbs, etc. in different languages, we're going to use them to increase getting what we want by creating a better version of ourselves, making them about us. We, I use mine for affirmations. I want to see if this is an app. This isn't an affirmation one, uh, but I've used them. This is one I used to carry with me on my walks. So I could hook it to my backpack or I could just carry it in my purse and I would flip through and I would look at the different things I'd written on it, light and just whatever would pop into my mind. Then I would take a new page, let it in. What's the next one? Let's share a couple of these. Let it go. And it would just depend on what I was thinking about for that day and if I had an epiphany or an aha moment. And then every once in a while, usually every day for a long time, uh, especially following my sudden cardiac arrest, I created these flip books. And I don't have my favorite kind here. I'm really kind of disappointed. I've got my old ones all packed away. But these are like my favorite ones where they've got a hook and you can hook them on something else and a band to keep them shut. And I would just sit down at a bench on my walk or something. Or if I left work during the day, I would just go for a little walk, sit down, and I would start flipping through my book. And then I would be thinking about the things I wanted to think about instead of something that was stressing me out or I was worried about or fretting about. And so it helped me to, number one, be present. Number two, focus on what I want and actually create the mindset and the change and the thinking and the beliefs that I want. So how do we go about creating these? It's super easy. You get whatever kind of book or no collecting thing feels good for you. I'm going to say you, these, I, I created a bunch of these and gave them away as, as uh, freebies and gifts. And this was an actual uh, gratitude journal type thing where, you know, I am happy and great. I am so happy and grateful now that blank or what I appreciate about blank. And I would do this and this is just a little gratitude journal things that I created, which are also flip books, right? You can, one of the most powerful things about a gratitude journal is you actually go back and look at the things that you've been grateful for and how they are the same, some of them over time, but also how they change over time and how easy it is to be grateful for different things. So you can pick up any kind of a little flippy book that works for you and then just like in my book. And this is actually my unedited version. I don't know where my good copy is, but this is the one that I was working on when I got a proof of it. And these were all the changes I had to make when I was editing it. Now I did this in, I want to say 2011, 2012, sometime back then. But the things are still pertinent today. It is a book with a lot of white space in it intentionally because it's meant to be a tool that you use and make your own. The power in flip books isn't using somebody else's, although that's a great way to start by getting other people's flip books. And you can find flip books now on any topic, anything, anything imaginable. It's kind of like the card decks now that are available to summarize books and things. You can find the same thing for just about any area or aspect of your life that you would want to change or improve. But you have to remember as you're reading them, just like when you're reading the cards, you have to ask yourself, well, what does this mean to me? How does this apply to me? How could I use this in the future? Or it isn't of much value. So anyway, there are, <clears throat> the pages have lots of white space on because they're designed for you to read it, think about it, and then at literally write in the book, what does it mean to you? Or what's a stronger way of phrasing it that you can relate to better? Or what are some examples and experiences in your life that you've had that have something to do with this or that remind you of this? Like this page just says, now I am present, I am here. What does that mean to you? Um, if you 
I want, there's so many different ways to use this book, and I shared those in the beginning of the book. But one of the ways I like to use it is sometimes I just open the book to a page and I see what, what two messages come up. And I'm like, all right, well, I carry that message with me as I go throughout my day. Um, and this one, this one here is one day without judgment and then must continually operate out of a higher vibration of you, yourself. Well, what does that mean to me? What do those things mean to me? And then I look for examples of how that's showing up or how that message is showed up to remind me today to not be judgmental. Uh, you know, am I hanging around people that are super judgmental of other people and critical or am I letting judgment and, you know, who am I to judge, right? Sneak into my behavior for any given day. So today we are going to create, you're going to start to create, you're not going to create it. I actually spent years creating some of my flip books that I use then for years. And then what I find happens for me personally is I'll use a flip book, I'll create it and I'll use it and I'll go through the messages until I find that I'm at home with them and that I'm not adding a lot to that. They're not they're not helping me to uh, continually improve or feel better about myself in any certain area or overall. And then I will start to create a new one. And I don't know how I know, but I just know when it's time to create a new one. When when the messages resonated enough with me that I felt that they were a part of me and that my understanding, my thought about the topics was a part of me, then I moved on to the next and started a new one. That's why I always have, this one's still in the plastic, so I always have a collection of these around because I know that when I get the inkling to start a new one, I want to have one available that I can grab and start building. I've used them for building my businesses. I've used them for improving certain areas and aspects of my life. I've used them for my physical well-being. I've used them for my health. I've used them for relationships. I've used them for finances. Whatever I want to work on, I can create a flip book for that. And sometimes I'll have three or four of them I carry around in my purse or back in my briefcase. And depending on what's going on, whatever I feel like I need to review, I'll grab that. I have them for KPIs for my different businesses, et cetera. And then now I think next year I'm going to create a new one for my lifelong legacy goals. And that one I'll just carry with me all the time. All right. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about, if you don't uh, get it, ask questions. Otherwise, there's a write-up in Guide 17, of course, of the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group page. You can always ask. Just hit your Voxer app on your phone. Hopefully, you have installed it if you want to talk to me. And uh, pajamagram at gmail.com and ask a question. Just ask because that's what I'm here for is to help. And I've literally created a hundred different flip books for myself, maybe more. I, I haven't counted them. I've got them all in a box somewhere, but it's packed away, so I didn't dig it out for today. That's why I've got just the few that I was carrying around. And sometimes I like to just have a little magnet book. This isn't really a flip book, but any notebook can be a flip book. I really like the three by five cards that are hooked together in the binders or the three by five cards that are on rings now, like notebooks, and you can just write on them and flip through them. I find it's a great way to capture thoughts and ideas that I have that I might not want to act on now, but I don't want to lose. So I write them down and capture them. All right. That's it. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.